I am Santosh Gaidanku. The today's concept is about the design of the curve beam. The question is determine maximum tensile and compressive initial stress induced in the C frame. This is the C frame of hydraulic portable elevator as shown in the figure. We have to design the curve beam. This is the C frame. Now, in the step one, step one, you have to identify the diagram based upon this profile. Based on this profile. I am using the volume linear to data and book. Now this profile is here. I have to draw the diagram as per this diagram. This profile. I will draw the diagram. Similar. I will draw the diagram of this one. Whatever the diagram is there, I will draw here. Step 1. This is the diagram. This is the center line. This is central axis. This is neutral axis. This is the neutral line. I'm referring this diagram here. Referring this diagram from this part to this part, we call as an RI. And this to this, it is nothing but H. This part to this part. It is R naught. It's this diagram I am rotating, drawing in terms of by using the time book. Now, from this part to this part, we call as an R n. This part, this part, we refer as an R c. This is nothing but E, small e. Now, from this distance to this distance, we call as a C naught. From this distance to this distance, we call it as a C. The naming of this notation is given in the data handbook. You can see, you can refer to this page. Everything they have given it, what is C naught, what is C I, what is everything they have given it in detail. But it is not required. This, this, this diagram is enough. Central line. But as per the central line, the force acted here. Therefore, the force has to be written this side. F is equal to 900. This is the neutral axis. This axis should be drawn here. Referring to this one. This is the neutral axis. No, sorry, central line. I'm drawn. Now, from distance, it is 175 mm to the central line. Now, what is RI? RI is nothing but 100. From this point, from this line, it is 100 mm. 100, right? 100. R not R not is nothing but 100 plus C D. 100 plus A D. R I is nothing but 100 plus A D. It is nothing but 180 mm. Now B is nothing but what? B is nothing but 50. As per diagram. 50. What is H? H is nothing but A D. H is 80. Right. This is the step one. Once you complete the step one, how to go for step two? That is, you have to find out Rn. The Rn formula is given here. This is the formula Rn it is nothing but H divided by Ln R0 divided by Ri. 25. 61 table 2561 page number 25.14 now substitute the value of h h is nothing but 80 divided by ln into r naught is 180 divided by r i is 100 the answer will be for this one is 136.10 This is completed step 2. I have to go for step 3. In this step 3, find x bar you have to find out. You have to find out the distance of from this inner fiber to central axis. We call it as an x bar. 
for this one the x bar will be h divided by 2 a different profile has the different h bar for this one it is h by 2 for here you have to write d by 2 ok this is the h by 2 h is nothing but dt divided by 2 40 once you know the h you can obtain rc what is rc ri plus x bar R is 100, X bar is nothing but 40, 140, 140. After completion of this one, you have to go for step 4, step 4. Find E, C I, C not, L and A. Area you have to find out. A we have to find out. What is E? Now this is the diagram. This is the diagram I'm referring here. What is E here? E is nothing but E is nothing but RC minus RN is nothing but E. RC minus RN is nothing but E. What is RC? RC we have already found here. This is 140. 140 minus RN. RN is equal to 11038. The E value will be 3.8962 mm. Once you know the E, then you have to find out CI. CI is nothing but what? RN minus RI. CI, this is the CI in the fiber to the neutral axis. RN minus RI, you will get CI. RN is 136.1038. 100 CA will be 36.1038 mm. Next, C naught C naught is nothing but R naught minus RN. R naught minus RN. RN. He will get what? R naught minus RN, you will get C naught. R naught is nothing but what? 180 minus RN is RN is 136.1038. The answer will be 43.8962 mm. Next, what do you have to find out? You have to find out the length. Length is nothing but from the force. You have to find out the length till RC. From the till, uh, central axis. Therefore, I will consider this a K. K plus K plus RC. 175 plus RC is nothing but 140 or season 140 the total length will be 1513 one, one, sorry 315 mm next area we have to find out area of this square is nothing but b into h 825 completion of this one step 5 bending find the bending moment 
find the bending moment formula mb is equal to f into l what is f f is already given 900 newton 9000 so it is 9000 newton 9000 into l 315 the answer will be 2.835 into 10 to 6 newton mm newton mm that is the answer once completion of this step you have to go for step 6 here you have to find out the stresses and this formulas are obtained in data and book directly first we call as a combined stress combined stresses in the inner fiber formula will be sigma ri f divided by a plus mb ci divided by a e ri is number 25.59 sorry for our number is 25.59 page number is 25.14 that time book now what is f f is 9000 divided by area is 4000 plus mb is 2.835 into 10 to 6 ci will be 36.1038 divided by 4000 e is nothing but 3.8962 e is obtained here into ri ri is nothing but 100 it is obtained from the figure ri is 100 The total. The answer for this one is 2.25. 2.25 plus this answer is 2.25. This one is 65.678. The total answer will be. The total answer will be 67.926. Newton per mm square, ten side. Ten side. And next, second, the combined stress in outer fiber. Outer fiber. Formula sigma R naught is equal to F by A minus C M B C naught divided by A E R naught twenty five point five eight page number twenty five point one four one four substitute the value your value will be nine thousand divided by four thousand Plus, sorry, it should be minus, minus, minus. M B will be two point eight three five into ten minus two six. C naught will be what? C naught. This is C naught forty three point eight nine six two divided by four thousand four thousand into E is nothing but E value three point eight nine six two. Into into R not R not is nothing but quantity is obtained from the diagram quantity. It is two point two five minus minus forty four point three six two. Therefore, total answer will be minus forty two point one one. Newton per mm square. Compress. Compress. 
step seven maximum shear stress the for maximum shear stress rho max is equal to 0 0.5 sigma max irrespective of the sig sign you have to take the value if the, it is a higher value or just assume it if it is a 90 then you have to write 90 here irrespective of the negative sign now higher is nothing but this is the higher 0 0.5 into 67.926 answer will be 33.963 newton per mm square mm square here you have to take the maximum value if the if if the situation is 60 here 60 newton sorry 70 newton per mm square which is greater than this one you have to write 70 here irrespective of the sign okay the maximum shear stress this completes your step 7 in 8 you have to draw the diagram based upon this data first I will draw the profile first I will draw the box here okay this is the box I'll draw it Here of diagram will draw. This is the central axis. This is the neutral axis. Central axis, neutral axis. Then B is equal to sorry H is equal to 80 mm and B is equal to 50 mm. Now direct stresses. Here this part we call as a direct stresses. This is the thing but we consider this sigma d. Sigma d, sigma d. Sigma d. Both are same here. Therefore, draw the profile. They are positive. Therefore, draw the profile in this way. These are the direct stresses. 2.25. 2.25 Newton per m square. 2.25 Newton per m square. 2.25 Newton per m square. Next what? Bending stresses. Bending stresses. These are the bending stresses. We call it as a sigma B I and this we refer as a sigma B naught. Now bending stresses, the value will be positive side this is the inner fiber this is the outer fiber dry line should be curved by line passing through the neutral axis it should be passing through the neutral axis it is a notation okay sigma bi is nothing but 65.678 newton per m square for here it is sigma B naught will be minus 44.362 Newton per m square. This is the bending one. Bending stress. What is the bending stresses? These are the direct stresses. Last is the combined stress. Here you have to draw the combined stress. Combined stress is nothing but this value. And the curve should be passes to the neutral axis. Value is nothing but uh, sigma r i is nothing but 67.926 newton per mm square. Here sigma r naught is nothing but minus 42.112 newton per mm square. This part we call as a combined stresses. Okay, if the diagram 
in case if the loads are in if the loads are in this here the loads are in tensile if in compressive cases the diagram will be in reverse direction the diagram will be in opposite direction they will be in opposite direction where you have to take f as a minus here I am Santosh Gadankar. Thank you very much.